Since we have done a two-way uh, independent sample ANOVA and one-way independent sample ANOVA and then we did one-way repeated male ANOVA, moving forward, today we will be talking about uh, repeated male ANOVA with more than one independent variable. We know that between group design can be extended to incorporate multiple predictors, more than one independent variables. Same can be done and same could be true for the repeated mayor samples as well. Um, pictorial repeated mayor ANOVA is used where the effect of two or more within subject vectors on the dependent variable needs to be investigated simultaneously. Just like we have two-way independent uh, sample ANOVA, in the same way, in repeated mayor ANOVA, ke bhi, we can take more than one independent variable. Where individual variations of the subjects cannot be controlled in conditions mein jahan pe, individual variation bahut zyada and want to control it two way repeated mayor ANOVA is a best choice us mein karte kya hai all subjects are tested in each level of both the factors jaisa humne one way repeated mayor mein kiya ki we have the same subjects and we use those same subject across all levels of the independent variable here in two way ANOVA similarly we will be using the same participants across each level of each independent variable. Mean difference between groups split on two within subject vectors are compared or then we compare them groups ko compare kar lete hai, jo humne treatment ki manipulation ki hai. For example, if we have factor A and it has two levels like level 1 and level 2 and the factor B we have three levels B1, B2 and B3 there will be uh, six treatment conditions. Just like we pictorial ANOVA, mein baat karte hai, if it is a 2 and 2, so 2 into 2 hamari 4 possible uh, levels or conditions that we have to take participants. If we have 2 into 3 factorial ANOVA, this means that our first independent variable has 2 levels and our second independent variable has 3 levels. Hai. So 2 into 3 means that we have 6 possible uh, conditions. Hamare paas Hamesha yaad rakhye ki hum chahe one way ANOVA ki baat kar rahe hain repeated or independent or two way ANOVA ki baat kar rahe hain jisme hamare paas independent variable ek se zyada hai lekin hamesha hamara dependent variable ek hi hoga because if we are increasing dependent variables it means we are heading to the multivariate analysis which we will not talk about multivariate in this BS level courses. So hum factorial ANOVA ke andar hum independent variable ka number or independent variable ke within each variable levels bada sakte hain lekin hamara dependent variable hamesha ek hi rahega uh, so the design investigates both main effects of all factors and the interaction effect of the both factors jisse humne independent factorial ANOVA mein kiya hai ki hum main effects bhi calculate karte hain aur interaction effect bhi calculate karte hain so this is similarly the two way ANOVA factorial ki tarah here is an example Isi ko hum karenge detail mein SPSS mein bhi. There is a research evidence that attitudes towards stimuli can be changed using positive or negative imagery. Kisi bhi stimuli ke against hum positive ya negative imagery deke uski change kar sakte attitudes ko. So as part of an initiative to look at which type of imagery could be used to make teenagers attitudes towards alcohol more negative. So they wanted to uh, make the attitude toward alcohol negative using different kind of imagery with the each ring. The scientists compared the effects of three types of imagery that is positive, negative and neutral imagery with the two different types of drinks that is coffee and alcohol. So here we have two independent variables. Number one drink, type of drink, where there are two levels, hai, alcohol or coffee. So this is one independent variable or uske two levels hai or dusra hamara independent variable hai type of imagery or uske hamare paas teen levels hai jisme humne positive imagery negative imagery or neutral imagery use ki so 2 into 3 ka matlab hai ki hamare paas two way ANOVA hai jiske do independent variables hai ek ke do levels hai ek ke teen levels hai and if you are calling it a repeated mayor ANOVA it means ki we are using the same participants in each one of these six conditions. So three into two, six ban gay, or six ka matlab hai ki hamare in all six conditions mein hum ek hi participants yani there would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight participants 
across all uh, six conditions will be used. So, I have explained kar diya hai ki there are two predictor or independent variables, type of drink and type of imagery. The type of imagery used positive, negative, neutral, three levels and the type of drink, two levels. So, these two variables completely cross over producing six experimental uh, conditions. Is kya hypothesis kaise banayenge as we did in a independent uh, measure two-way ANOVA or one-way ANOVA similarly we'll be using the same to construct our hypothesis. So main effect ke liye, main effect of drink ke liye hum banayenge ke there is no group main effect or at least one group uh, mean is uh, different or it differs or isi tarah main effect of imagery ke liye hum banayenge null hypothesis hoga ke there is no difference or alternative hypothesis hoga ke at least one group may mean is different from the other two group. Or isi tarah hum interaction effect ke liye bhi hypothesis. So if there are two independent variables, there will be uh, three types of hypothesis. One for the main effect of first independent variable, second for the main effect of second independent variable, and third for the interaction of two uh, variables. So the null hypothesis would be there is no interaction between drink and imagery or alternative hoga ke there exist interaction uh, between drink and imagery. In the next uh, tutorial, we will be using SPSS and conducting the same data um, in SPSS.